Hi guys, I'm Dr. Tanya. I'm also known as Dr. Cutris. I'm here to talk to you about contraception. Now let's talk about intrauterine devices. This is what it looks like. Remember, it's this tiny bit. This is a copper containing um, intrauterine device, not a hormonal one, but they're very, very useful. In fact, they can even be used as emergency contraception. So you can put them in and forget about it for the next five years. They last five to 10 years, they're fairly long lasting. Now the most common questions around the IUD is that a lot of people do ask that I've never given birth before and my doctor will not give me an IUD. What's the reason behind that? The reason behind that is that an IUD is a longer term contraceptive method but it's not recommended for most people who've never given birth simply because there's certain risks that come with it. The first is that there is a slightly increased chance of having an ectopic pregnancy. An ectopic pregnancy means a pregnancy that implants outside of your uterus, so it can implant inside your tummy, anywhere. And the other risk is that it does increase your risk of getting PID, which is pelvic inflammatory disease. Pelvic inflammatory disease basically causes an inflammation around all of your organs in the pelvis and it's usually from an STI or any unseen practices in your genital area. So that's why uh, IUDs are not recommended for people who've never given birth. If you have given birth, this is a great contraceptive method for you. The doctor will heartily recommend this and heartily put this in and a lot of people do have complaints that come with using IUDs. The most common complaints are that you do tend to get irregular bleeding. For a lot of people who are on a copper IUD, you can get a heavier bleed than normal. It is quite likely that it can make your periods a little bit more painful, but it's a very good long-term method of contraception. The hormonal IUDs that are available, things like Mirena, are actually very, very useful if you have very heavy periods. So, Contrary to the copper IUDs, these actually reduce the amount of flow you have. Sometimes people even stop having periods entirely, which sounds very useful for certain people. <laughs> the problem with that is that it can cause breakthrough bleeding or sometimes it can cause a little bit of spotting. So this is something you have to be aware of, but otherwise IUDs are actually quite wonderful. Now IUDs have a 99% effectiveness rate, simply because you put them in once and then you forget about it. It's not a pill that you have to take every day. And that's why a lot of people do want to use an IUD. But there are lots of questions around it. Can you feel an IUD when you're having sex? Now normally you should not be able to feel the IUD when having sex. But if that's the case for you, then you can speak to your doctor who can snip the strings of the IUD that hang outside and your partner should not be able to feel it. Additionally, a lot of people are concerned about the amount of pain that comes when inserting the IUD. Now there is a little bit of discomfort, I'm not going to lie. But some people feel pain, some people just feel discomfort. It's a tiny, tiny procedure. It just basically is this tiny thing that you push inside there and you're done with it. But if you do feel really uncomfortable, you can ask your doctor to put a little numbing gel around your bits so you don't feel that pain. Lastly, a lot of people who want to use menstrual cups are concerned if they can use a cup when having an IUD. Now the best thing to do if you are having an IUD is to maybe avoid cups and tampons because you can accidentally pull the string out and accidentally yank the entire IUD out when taking out your cup or your tampon. If you really do want to use them, you can speak to your doctor who can check you and trim the strings of your IUD to prevent any mishaps and then you can go on happily on your way to using your cups or your tampons. I hope you found this useful and I hope I was able to answer some of your questions. If you do have more questions, please drop them down in the comments box below and I will try and answer them for you. Choose your contraception wisely. This is Dr. Tanea aka Dr. Cutrus signing off. See you!